today we will discuss about a topic storage and distribution of water supply. So, let us start any water supply installation have following uh, major element storage reservoirs, filtration plant, pumping system, chlorination system, rising main, distribution system. First we discuss about storage. There are three type of storage are adopted in what any water supply system. First primary reservoirs, public catchment reservoirs, secondary stage reservoirs, main storage reservoirs of any uh, supply to any station and distribution side storage reservoirs that is overhead tanks and underground sumps. Primary reservoirs or catchment reservoirs. It is generally maintained by PHED and or any outside agency and supplied to MES. This reservoirs includes rivers, dam, lake or any big primary reservoirs of supply agencies just like PHED. Next secondary storage reservoirs. It is underground oblique semi underground RCC construction. The capacity of storage should be equal to one day water requirements. The per day water requirement of any station as per KLP requirement. The calculation is as per authorization given in appendix C of school of accommodations 2009. Designing scheme for any station catered expansion factor at 100 percent maximum for the source of supply. Any extra requirement will be catered uh, after the as a special case by competent financial authority, competent authority. In case of supply obtained from tube well or silo well, the expansion factor is not acceptable. Next storage reservoirs of distribution sites. This storage is overhead or underground RCC construction. The total storage capacity of this storage water overhead and uh, ground water system shall not be more than the one day requirement of water. The total storage capacity of the ground water sump and overhead tank storage shall not be more than one day requirement of water. The calculation of per day water requirement of any area of the station are to be calculated as per the authorization as given in a scale of accommodation 2009 appendix C. Storage capacity scheme at any station to be designed at maximum 50 percent expansion factor for the distribution system. It should be installed near the supply area to minimize friction loss and head loss. Staging of overhead tanks selected as per the height of the building service tanks. Treatment of water and pumping. Following install machinery are required for pumping. Electric driven pumps, standby DG sets suction line and walls, overhead cranes, oblique chain pulley for lifting of pump and during the repair of oblique installation, uh, line diagram and electric control panels. The chlorination, the chlorination should be done through online chlorinator during the pumping of for dis disinspection of water. At source, the 2 ppm level of residual chlorine content should be maintained. At supply end, it should be less than 0.2 ppm. Presently, sodium hypochlorite granules are used for chlorination as per the policy. Next part is rising mains. The rising main should be designed to consider the following flow and friction loss and static height. These are heavy duty ductile iron oblique cast iron pipe to withstand high rising main pressure. Distribution system. The distribution system includes everything beyond the storage reservoirs. This includes distribution pipeline system, generally used GI or PPR pipe, gate walls of accommodations, water meter, up to service tanks, generally used HDP tank. Requirement of good distribution system. Water quality should get deteriorate in the distribution pipelines. It should be capable of supplying water at all the intended place with sufficient pressure. It should be capable of supplying the requisite amount of water during the fire. The layout should be such that no consumer would be without water during the repair of any section of the system. 
it should be fairly water tight as to keep losses due to leakage to the minimum. For designing of any water distribution system, the layout is the main thing. The distribution pi pipelines are generally laid below the road pavement and such their layout generally flow the layout of the road. The distribution pipes are generally laid below the road pavement and such their layout generally follow the layout of the roads. There are general four different type of pipe network any one of which either single or in combination can be used for particular place. There are four type distribution network are to be adopted as a standard dead end oblique tree system, radial system, grid iron system, ring main system. Dead end oblique tree system, it's, it is a suitable for old cantonment, town and city having no different pattern of road. In this type of water distribution system, one main pipeline runs through the center of the any area and the sub main branches line of the both sides. The sub main line are then divided into several branch lines from which service connections are provided for particular houses. The advantage of these pipelines are the design of pipe laying in the simple and easy. A less number of cutoff walls are required and the operation and maintenance cost is low. Pipe laying in simple and no skill labor is required. It is relatively cheap than other distribution system. The disadvantage of this system are the system is a less successful in maintaining satisfactory pressure in high rise building and is therefore not favor in the modern waterworks practice. Next system is radial system. In this type of water distribution system, the whole building's oblique area are divided into several distribution area. The water is pumped into the distribution reserves kept in the middle of a zone and has a centrally located elevated reservoirs from where distribution pipe runs radially toward the peripheral of the distribution area. This system gives swift service without much loss of head. The design of the pipe laying system is much simpler. The supply pipeline are laid radial watery ending toward the periphery. The advantage of these systems are generally in the high rise building a radial system is used for water distribution system. In this system water is available with high discharge and with minimum head loss. Fewer number of the consumer are affected while repairing or any breakdown. The disadvantage are the design of the pipe laying system is complicated. More length of pipe is required as the connections is more in this system. Next is grid iron system. In this system the main supply runs through the center of the area and sub main branch off in the perpendicular directions. The branch interconnected. The distinguishing uh, feature of this system are that all type of pipe are interconnected and there are no dead ends. Water can reach at the given point of withdrawal from many directions which allow more flexible operation particularly when repairs are required. The advantage of this system are this system enable the tree circulations of water without any stagnations or sediments deposit. Because of fewer interconnections, water is available at every point with a minimum loss of head. Adequate water is available with pressure for firefighting requirement from the various branch lines. During repair, only a few houses are affected. The disadvantage of this system are, in this system, more cutoff walls are required. The system requires longer pipe length with larger diameter. The analysis of discharge, pressure and velocity in this pipe is difficult and cumbersome. Next system is ring main system. In this type of water distribution system, the water mains from the ring around the area. The branch pipe are connected crosswise to the main and also to each other. 
the system is most reliable for several buildings located in the same area plant um, same area advantages of this system are the number of interconnections is less with minimum loss of head the discharge is also higher when compared to other methods of distribution fewer consumers are affected at the time of repair separate main line available for each household the disadvantage of these systems are the length of pipe laying is more which ultimately lead to higher cost several valves are required to control the flow and discharge of water next part is method of water distributions for efficient distribution system adequate water pressure required at the various point depending upon the level of source topography of the area and other conditions the water may be forced into distribution system by following way the gravity system pumping system and combination with gravity and pumping system gravity systems this system is suitable when source supply is at sufficient height it is a most reliable and economical distribution system the adequate water head available at the consumer next is pumping system in this system treated water is direct directly fed to the distribution main through secondary pump house the system is used where high water head required such as a multi storeys building this supply fully dependent on electricity so standby power supply is required this system also used in fire fighting scheme next combination with gravity and pumping system it is a most common distribution system this system is used where high water head as well as normal head is required such as a multi storeys building and normal area where water to be fed it is a more reliable system the water is a fundamental and basic right of man water that can be delivered to the users and is a safe for drinking food preparation personal hygiene and washing the water must meet the requirement of chemical biological and physical qualities standard uh, at the point of the users the number of people without access of safe drinking water is increase hence design of any water supply scheme have minimum losses of water save water save life thank you jai hind